Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial with me, Groover. Now today I'm going to actually talk to you all about flower farming. Now if you just want a flower farm that's just going to work, this is not the video for you. We're going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into what makes a difference, how to get the efficiency up, etc, etc, etc. We're going to actually look at the whole thing from bottom to top. And um, eventually we're going to put together a final kind of farm, which I believe to be, you know, cost benefit wise, the most efficient version of the farm that you're very likely to get. So let's get into this. Right, so there are basically two ways of getting flowers in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and one of the ways is, the one which we're not going to look at that much, is you basically just bone meal grass and you'll get flowers and things. Quite often these will use shifting floors to gather the bone meal or gather the drops. Not really worth it in my opinion if you're just going for straight up flowers. Right, just before I move on, um, there's actually, this is actually a pickup cut, so I've just been editing away and I kind of thought, you know what, I've got to include this because I actually say, I'm going to tell you all about flower farming and I wasn't going to show you this method, which is just remiss of me, so here we go, we're doing a little pickup clip. Um, there is obviously two tall flowers. Now two tall flowers you can just bone meal the top or bottom block or if you so wish you can bone meal both of them. So let's get some bone meal going. Oops, no not like that. Jeez. Come on Groovo, get your head together. If you'd been thinking then you'd have actually recorded this at the time when you're recording this, the rest of this, rather than when you're editing this. Okay. There is a single piece of bone meal in top and bottom dispenser. Very simply, we're just going to throw down a thing like that. Boom. So you see that? Two flowers. Basically, it is a one-for-one -one relationship. So one piece of bone meal equals one new rose bush. So in, because I'm in, in creative, it doesn't show it properly, but I've got like a couple of rose bushes there. I should do this again and actually clear my inventory. One. Two. Clear. Boom. There we go. Two. So each bone meal equals one rose bush. Now, if you're wanting to do this extra fast, then basically, like this, is a very nice, simple way of doing it. A nice, fast clock that's going to just spam this thing. And if you hit both the top and bottom block at the same time, it's going to produce two. What we'll do now is we'll just do a very quick experiment that literally just occurred to me. What if there was more dispensers around here? Can I, can I do it? I don't know. We'll find out. Right, we're literally testing this on the fly right now. So we've got eight dispensers. Each one's got a single piece of bone meal around it. I've got nothing in my inventory. Um, think maybe maybe I, I broke that experiment so maybe we need to repeat it but that did produce eight so if I actually just set this up to absolutely I tell you what we're not even going to do that we're gonna so what I thought I should do is have them alternate I'm going to get them just to fire on each other all at exactly the same time right so I think even that's redundant now because that's getting hard power down and we're going to put in like, I don't know, because if you can actually just spam this thing with bone meal from every single direction, then hypothetically you could get more flowers faster. So that's all that we're testing for right now. If you really felt so inclined, probably dispenser facing down from the top as well, which would take it up to nine every single every single beat, like boom, 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 nine every single time. You get a stack pretty darn quick out of the two tall flower doing that. And then all you need is a little collection system underneath, which is basically going to be hopper minecart inserted into the grass block with a hopper underneath, sending the items on the way. Um, anyway, let's test this. Right, so as you can see, I've placed eight in every single one, which is a total of 64 pieces of bone meal. Pretty simple. And then when I turn this on, we're just going to see how many we get back. And that's going to run out real quick. So that's been very, very well bone mealed. 64 back. So literally two tall flowers. You can't, you cannot bone meal them enough. Realistically, I think I could definitely put one on top there. Let's have a quick go, a very quick design for two tall flowers, which is going to be ridiculous. Right, here we go. This is just a really, really simple kind of setup and all that I'm going for on this one is speed because literally the only way to make it more efficient is more droppers or dispensers around it so I currently have 
63 bone meal. We're going to dispense those around the dispensers. Right, design features real quick. Um, fast clock on the top. We've got the switch underneath. We've got that so you can actually get in there and change out your flowers if you wish. There's a hopper minecart inserted into that grass block. Hopper, mine, you know, chest to pick it up. So there should be 63 in there. I should be able to turn this on for like a couple of seconds and uh, job done basically. Um, it's gonna take a little while for those to collect. Let's just speed up that process. 63. That's actually interesting because I didn't know that. You can spam a two tall flower from every single direction with bone meal and it will produce every single time. So if you want fast, that's the way to go. More dispensers equals more fast. Anyway, back to what I was actually gonna show you today. So the second way is to actually just bone meal a flower and that will grow more of that same flower. So pretty handy like that and we're going to perform a few experiments here just to show you a few of the parameters about doing this. So there we go, I've got a nice little 3x3. Three three. So we're going to have to work out how to collect those up a little bit later. But for now, you get the basic idea. You bone meal the flower, you get more of the same one. Simple, huh? Nice. So, if we come over here, the question is, how can you bone meal the flower? So we've just got this little setup here. A lot of the answers are already going to be known, but it's worth testing them just so that if you are going to be designing something for yourself, you get the idea of where you can place things. Firstly, we try from below. Doesn't work. Getting nothing. Not using any bone meal or anything. Then from the side. Same. Expected results, really. So this one, a bit better. You got to bone meal the flower directly. And then this one the same. So basically you can bone meal the flower directly from any position that you so wish. Now, something that's worth noting is that if you have an entirely filled up area, so you see, did you see that there? Let's try it again. Okay, we've got some sparkles that time. Then we've got soot. The soot basically means that it's failed to bone meal that time because the places where it's tried to put the flowers are already filled. So basically you can't you can't over bone meal this area. It's impossible. Every time you use a piece of bone meal, you are going to get one more flower. At least. See, it's a little bit slower now. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how to bone meal things and why it doesn't matter if you absolutely spam it. Really, really spam it with the bone meal. I mean, there are going to be slightly more efficient ways of doing it, like you do get more, you're more likely to get more per bone meal if there are huge numbers of locations available around it each time. So like that, we got three. The next time, how many do we get? One. It's like diminishing returns. And one more by the looks of it. And then one more. So basically, you don't want to be over spamming it, but you're not going to get too much of a problem. You're always going to get at least one flower for your money. So, that's the basic theory there. What we've got here is set up a fast clock, probably one of the fastest clocks that I can think of in Minecraft, um, with a dispenser hanging straight over this. And this we're going to actually test what area gets flowers. So if I just turn that on, it's going to do the job and it's going to occasionally fail, but Within a few minutes, we'll see exactly how much space gets taken up with flowers. I already know the answer to this, so comments down below if you don't. Guesses? Right, I think that's reasonably conclusive. Um, we haven't filled in the entire area because it takes ages to do that, um, and it doesn't use up the extra bone meal. It'll always produce like one flower per bone meal, like we showed over there. But basically, it is a 7x7 seven seven square around the central flower. So we've got three in each direction, and it goes out in a square. Trust me, if you left it long enough, these corners would fill in. So I'm just going to pop these in here, just because we know that this is correct. We've done this experiment before. So the question is as well, how much bone meal did that take? So I've got full stacks here. If I go like that, that means it took 34 bone meal because it used 34 to refill 
that area. So I'm just going to boop, boop, like that down there. I'll put that over there. So 34 bone mill it took to fill that entire area. So I've been running experiments whereby I kind of see how long it's going to take to fill the entire area. And on average it's around about 33 to 34 bone meal in this kind of formation. Right, the next experiment is to do some rates testing in an idealized environment. So what we have here, we've got all of these command blocks set up and each one I don't know how to do this in a better way, is set up to destroy anything that's in these areas and turn it into an item. The item then is going to get teleported to me and it's going to cover this entire area around this flower so if I just turn this on you'll get the idea, right? And it always leaves the one in the middle as the cedar. So if I get rid of that I'm going to keep this one in here because they don't stack up with that one so it's fine. And the idea is that I'm going to give it a fair experiment, which is one full stack of bone meal. And this is very, very, very idealized. Basically, this is as soon as it grows, it gets removed. Simple as anything, okay? So let's just run this for one stack and see how many flowers we get. Right, there we go. That is the full stack gone. And we have got one, two, three, we've got four stacks. Oh, okay. Three stacks and 40. So let's just grab a chest. We're just going to put that one down there for a second or two. So three stacks and 40 on the first run. We can run exactly the same experiment again and just see what we get. Okay, second experiment run. How many did we get? We got... oof. Three stacks plus one. Ugh. That's kind of... That makes me feel bad. Um, so it looks like there's quite a wide range of possibilities here. I'm going to do one more just to see if there's a midpoint in here somewhere. Right, there we go. Final experiment conducted. Yeah, that one's a bit of an anomaly. But anyway. You're talking about three, three and a half stacks-ish on average. Like if we averaged out this, yeah, three and a half stacks is an average nice way of looking at it. So, the question then is, is there a way of getting more? Because I know a lot of you are going to be out there thinking, almost writing in the comments right now. You've got your fingers on the keyboard saying, But Groover, if you move the flower down by one and then bow me lip from there, you'll get more flowers. That is exactly what we're going to do next. So this is, like I say, it's going to be a bit of a deep dive. We want to try a few different conditions. So have I got... Yeah, I do. So we're going to go down like this. We're going to place in... Well, we're going to take that one away for starters. Do that, that, and replace that with one of those. And then put in my flower right there. My very special flower. Just need to adjust the redstone a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Now this is once again too full of bone meal. I'm going to have to clear that out soon. But anyway, you get the idea. So we can run exactly the same experiment again in a totally massively idealized environment and see what we get next time. So I'm going to place out a chest right there. Everything's running. Let's press go. It sounds louder. I mean, it really, really does sound louder. Okay. Wow. Um, I think I broke the experiment. Yeah, I broke the experiment. Need to run that one again. So, I'm going to start off with that there. Then that's there. And then we're going to throw all these into here. Because I made a mistake. I completely forgot that my inventory was so darn full. Let's get rid of all of that. Oh, I didn't forget. I kind of just thought I could get away with it, but I can't. So instantly you can see there was a lot more flowers there. So we'll run the same experiment again. We've got 64 bone meal in there. Let's go for it. I'm going to stand right here. Right, that... Wow. 
That is unbelievably more. Absolutely unbelievably more. Like, ridiculous quantities more. So, we're going to run that one again. Because even I'm shocked by that. This is a totally, totally idealised environment. Whereby every single flower that grows is going to get teleported to me and collected. Like, instantly. So there's maximum possibilities here. Let's give that a try. Oof, what a noise! I mean, literally, what the heck, guys? What the actual heck? Oops. I always do that. <laughs> I mean, this is actually kind of ridiculous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 stacks in a bit. Compared to... 3 in a bit. That is 10 stacks more than we would have had if we'd done it another way. 10 whole stacks. So, the next question is, what well, we've clearly proven that we can get much better rates by doing it like this. Now, the thing that we saw over here is that even with maximum amounts of bone mill through being thrown at this, the outside edges weren't getting much love. So, the question then becomes, is it actually worth having an outside edge or not? So, let's just take these away. All right, I'm going to put all of this lot in here because, frankly, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna get another set of bone meal. Oh man. Right, so basically this is a condition whereby we no longer have the 7x7 seven seven area, which is the maximum area. We have a 5x5 five five area, which is slightly less, but like we saw, like I just said, it didn't seem to want to do the outside areas here. So we're good to go, we're good to go. Let's go. Okay. Whoops, a doodle. Oh yeah, I forgot that I'd done that. Um yeah, we'll place you right here. Wow, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a little bit. So we've basically lost one stack of items by just reducing this area a fraction. When you think about that space in that area, you're actually saving a lot in terms of redstone, because we're going to have to work out a collection system for this in a moment, but you are saving quite a lot of things. Right, let's do one last experiment on this, because I want you guys to see it as being completely fair, completely tested. Right, there we go. That is it done once again. One full stack emptied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and a bit. I think that is absolutely amazing. Okay, here's a little sneaky for you guys. Whilst I'm sh whilst I'm talking, I discovered this a little bit earlier. Some of you will know of it. Some of you won't. But as you can see, I've got a lot of corn flour in here. If I do forward slash clear, Groover guys inventory of red underscore flowers. Um, they've all gone, including my special one. But anyway, hopefully you guys have already shared this video with somebody else and told them how amazing it is, so we don't need to go through that again. Right, so I've gone ahead and built up this thing like this, and I just wanted to show you this because um, naturally I would want to use this clock, um, but also naturally I would want all of my build to be sort of very well contained. So what we've got going on here is we've got some sticky pistons and we've got trapdoors on them. The, tr the sticky piston pushes down the trapdoor and just clips, just clips that and breaks it, okay? So I'd want to use this clock, but I can't because Bedrock has this thing where for some reason these three, these are too powerful. So we're going to have to rework this clock a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I did for this when I was working on this before, which I kind of liked. Right, so taking into account all of our learnings there, I've created this really simple small farm, um, which is going to do the job. You might not see any chests here because basically this is a one use thing. You go in, you get as much as you want right there and then because it's only going to take like a minute and then you walk on. You don't have chests full of rubbish sticking around, which is right now one of my bugbears. I'm, I'm really quite turned off from most passive farms because they just keep producing and producing and producing for no reason. 
but this is just going to produce what you need when you need it. So, you go in, you've got this little chamber here, you place your flour in that you want to place in, and then you go in and you put in your bone meal, as much or as little as you so wish. Next, you pull the lever, and then you just give it a few seconds. Don't worry, I'm going to show you through all of the redstone that's involved in this and how it's all set up in a few moments. But it's very, very simple. You should be able to do this yourself. Very, very easy. Now, in a few minutes, we're going to stop seeing any green sparkles coming off this and it's not going to be producing any more of the cornflowers there. Oh, wow. Gosh. It's getting, it's getting crammed in there. It's pushing them out. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of cornflour. Realistically, I probably should just use 16 bone meal. Okay, so that has produced. I go around and collect manually because quite honestly, you don't need to not do this manually. And there's all of your stacks. And you just walk off and use it and craft it into the lovely colored dyes that you so wish. Or whatever you want to do with these flowers. Very, very simple. And um, it's kind of like flowers on demand. And I quite like that idea. So something that you could do with this quite easily is just have a load of item frames up here with all of the different flowers on there that you might want to use. And then you just sort of pop one out and um, just go in there and use them however you like. So it's, it's kind of that easy really. And then put your bone meal in and away you go. My advice is don't put in a full stack of bone meal. Put in like, I don't know, 16 at most. Because this is going to produce stacks and stacks and stacks of flowers. Right, what does this look like? This is very, very simple. There's a lot of fascia on this. So if I go ahead and like remove all of the fascia, we'll, um, we'll see what's behind it. Okay, so what we have is the 5x5 five five planting area. Down here, you'll see that I put a sticky piston down here with a piece of grass on so that we could get the access. That's linked up to the switch here, so it's all very, very simple redstone. Just using the redstone inverter there to go across there. The target block is to redirect the redstone into this block so that I can have the door open and close when I want it to. The glass is just to contain your drops. And then over here you've got your sticky pistons with your trapdoors on, which I've already mentioned. This is a very, very simple observer clock. So we've got one facing upwards and then we've got another one facing downwards into it. The slime here is to conduct the, the power coming off the observers. So this observer is going to tick, it's going to push the power into here, which then spreads it to the pistons. Um, and basically it goes tick, 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 tick. So that fires, then 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 that fires. It's too quick to really be that substantial, as in it's not going to be as efficient as if it was 100% perfect. But I think all in all, this is very, very good. Now at the back here we've got a little torch tower going upwards which runs into some redstone just to power this. Just to push the sticky piston down with the slime on and actually engage everything. So if we if we show that again, you kind of get an idea. It's very, very simple. Very, very easy. And I am going to be using one of these because I really like the idea of just having flowers on demand. Now one thing that you guys probably need to know is that if you bone meal a red flower, it will give you yellow flowers as well. So let's just show that. Bone meal. I'm not doing a full 64 this time because by lord that was too much. We'll put some of that into there. We've got our red flower in place. Let's just go for it. Yeah, you so see you're getting yellow flowers there as well. It's um a pretty hefty... It's a, it's a small ratio that's going to come out yellow. Let's put it like that. Alright, it stopped working already. Done. Done. There we go. Let's try dandelion. Does dandelion work in the opposite direction? I don't think it does. Um, I'm just going to go for eight this time because that's still a lot of flowers. Yes, it does. So you probably get the opposite ratios where you get maybe like 10% red and mostly yellow. I don't know. 
But fundamentally, this is a very nice little flower farm. And hopefully you'll have set, sort of found out a little bit about how all this is working. I did try, just for your information, I did try putting a roof over the top of the flowers, see if it made a difference. Didn't make a difference. Not a, not a thing really, still got the same rates. Still just as efficient um, with this kind of layout. Now if you were really, really crazy, you could actually stack loads of these together and have loads of them running at the same time. I really, really genuinely don't think it's needed. You just need flowers on demand in my opinion because honestly two stacks of bone meal will give you a full chest of that colour flower that easily. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, of course, please do leave a like. And if you want to see some more, drop me a subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Right, there are a couple of ways of getting flowers um, in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Minecraft? Oh.